hello everyone welcome and welcome back to shadows chronicles today's video is for my undergraduate applicants so those who are interested in applying for a bachelor's degree in the u.s i have a really great resource for you to utilize on your application journey so a little bit of backstory right sometime last year i believe hopefully i'm not wrong about the timeline someone had reached out to me and they essentially like told me that i have a really great resource uh, that i feel like your website viewers or visitors and channel viewers would benefit from if you want to go ahead and share with them please share this resource with them i'm sure they will find it helpful so um i looked through the resource and i was like oh this is a really great resource right i'll do really better during the weekend however before the weekend came i lost uh access to my email right so all my emails everything wiped off i don't know what happened i really cannot explain even my website right i had to call the um, the host company and all of that like to try and figure it out right like what is happening why can't i find this what what really happened so uh, i had a different version right that was playing around with somewhere uh, uh on the on the platform I'm, I'm using to host my website right um and that was the, the the version that was showing i was like what is happening what went wrong like i didn't do anything i didn't change this you know like um so i i don't know what happened but i essentially i lost um i lost the person that that person's email right because i could not write back to them so i thought that oh i've lost this resource oh my goodness not good right because i was gonna put it on my website however Fast forward to this year, I found this and I was like, oh, when, when I get back on YouTube, this is one of the first things I'm going to share. I don't know how I found it. I was scrolling through my drive. Apparently, I downloaded it and saved it on my drive. I did not know. Uh, and I've been able to like complete because there's a Google form on this resource for you to like give feedback to the author of this awesome resource for international students. Let me tell you guys, this is very helpful. This is very useful. Um, so I did put give a feedback because the person is anonymous, right? Like even on the ebook, they did not put their name. So really anonymous, they don't want to be known. Um, I'm actually really glad I found it um, again. So I did, you know, provide them with a the feedback like, yes, this is a really great resource. And if by any chance you're actually watching this video and you want me to, you don't want to remain anonymous anymore and you want me to give you like credit, even if it's a pen name or so, you know whatever you want to put on there please reach out to me so i can put it on there right i know your name is on the resource i don't know if you're watching this video by any chance um but i did complete the form to kind of get that out to them put my email in there like if they wanted to reach out again i wanted like they, me to give them some credit or whatnot but um i encourage you all um after reading this the uh ebook like i you know i know you're gonna find it helpful if you read it to be applying to the us as an undergraduate applicant you definitely find it helpful so make sure to give to leave a feedback i'm gonna share my screen with you to show you how to access this great document um where you can access the form to give feedback but it is a really great guide for international students who want to study in the u.s at the undergraduate level i'm telling you this is a really good resource and i'm sure you'll find it helpful so let, let's dive right in All right, in order to access this document, all you need to do is come to International Education Chronicles website, i.e. chronicles.com, um, and navigate to resources and toolkit. Um, essentially, you click on the drop down, you see resources, and then you see toolkit. And then this document is on the toolkit page. The link I'll put in the description box would take you directly to this toolkit page. But, uh, if for some reason you exit out of this page or you're like, oh, how do I get back? All you just need to do is type International Education Chronicles online, which ideally I hope, you know, would be one of the first pages that pop up. And then, you know, you come at eChronicles.com, click on toolkit, and then you find yourself on this page. Now, this is what this document looks like. I made, uh, I, the way I set it up is so that you can actually preview this document on the website if you want to, um, for any reason, um, 
I'm not sure because I know people would be watching from different places. I just wanted to ensure that it was accessible enough if perhaps like there's a space on your phone to download or maybe website or, um, you know, maybe just there's some download issues or whatnot. You can actually just click on next to actually preview this document right on this website. However, should you want to download this document, all you need to do is click on here, download. It should bring you to a separate page where you can decide what you want to do from there right um and i recognize this would look differently on a phone um but even on a phone you can actually download as well and uh even on the phone you can actually click on, on the on the laptop because this is a laptop view right or a computer view um you can't click on this to download but on a phone you can actually because i tested it out you can actually cl click on this and it will take you to a page like this and you can download it and now i'm actually just going to preview this book uh briefly just so you have an idea of how to navigate it and what the book is all about right because i think the author of this book did a really great job telling their story writing from their perspective right um, a complete guide for international students applying to U.S. colleges. You know, broke the broke it down by content, where this is coming from. They provided with the whole process at a glimpse. Um, part one, which is researching, right, like what you do before you actually apply. Part two, applying, and part three, waiting. Like a very detailed ebook for anyone who is interested in applying to the U.S. at the undergraduate level. Now, um, you see right here, it's still like, you know, the author said that they think that it is important to know from whom this information is coming from. Um, and they did let us know that they were able to make it to a U.S. college with a financial aid and scholarship package, which covered most of their expenses. And um, as you go on, right, they also want you to provide them with feedback. Um, if like this book is helpful to you or not. Um, and if you click on this link, yes, it's a clickable link. It should bring you to a page like this where you can rate the book on a scale of one to 10, right? With 10 being the best. Um, I know like I actually did reach out via this form, but I did not get any response because I was trying to get their name. But I guess they did, they did not want to be identified because even on the PDF, there, there are no names. They just wanted feedback. And I feel like this person is actually doing it out of the goodness of their heart. Um, but if by any chance you happen to be watching this video, please, please, I really would love to give you credit because, you know, I did not like <laughs> write this book. I'm only sharing it as you requested and I would love to give you credit. Um, but if you do want to remain a mystery, that is absolutely fine as well. All right. So um, all you have to do is just give feedback. Um, um, I hope that they're actually checking out this feedback form. So please, if you find it helpful, definitely complete this form. Submit a very simple form to do. And at least with this resource, like uh, without help with this resources, that's just the least you can do, especially since they provided it for free. So back to this uh, PDF page, essentially, I'm going to zoom out a bit because it's actually quite huge. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, all you have to do is navigate through this page. They break it down. They all process at the glimpse, right? Um, part one, which is setting priorities, explaining to you how you can like shortlist institutions, what to look at, how to find institutions, like they provide a peek into what their college spreadsheet looks like. Um, and this is actually another list of resources that I'll actually be, be putting on this toolkit page within the next two months, right? Um, a college spreadsheet, a, a college shortlist spreadsheet that you can actually download and use to guide you as you start your college search. Um, they provide like you know the link to the college board's website college search show which is actually a really fantastic tool i've utilized it before very you know actually a really great resource um they they provide you a lot of resources essentially to guide you your application process right even like links to like two articles that will show you how to write emails to institutions we're gonna click on them right here actually i should have opened it another tab but that is absolutely fine um and you can check this out we're gonna go back to the previous page i knew it it was gonna take me back to like because i didn't open it in a different tab that's absolutely fine um so a really great resource like i mentioned earlier this is where we were um 
and right here they tell you they give they provide a link to an article that will help you navigate like a common data set and they were like oh i highly encourage you not to ignore this and use this to your advantage and even like you know they provide like a glimpse an example of like um McAllister college common data sets right and even they, they broke it down so like i mentioned really really great resource that you can utilize if you are trying to apply to institutions in the u.s and even trying to get scholarships like they even explain how you can like apply like what to click on um to get like fee waiver right like this is even a screenshot so one thing i would like to um to clarify is the fact that like it is possible that at the time of the application some changes might have been made to like this website so the screenshots might not look alike right because this book i don't know exactly what year this particular ebook was written so in case you're like oh i don't see this please recognize that it is possible that some things have, ch have changed since this book has been written um even like they talk about testing right here and they were like i personally didn't take the sat as most of the schools in the u.s adopted the test optional policy because of the covid pandemic the year i was applying so you can kind of tell that this person actually applied around the year 2020 2021 um and um i just want to encourage you like this is coming from a personal perspective personal experience things have actually changed a bit too since then so definitely want to take all of that into consideration and the institution you're applying to into consideration um as you utilize this ebook right like i'm sure they even put a disclaimer at the beginning they're talking from personal experience but i really encourage you to check out this ebook this is just like the summary you can't really know what's in it until you read it i just wanted to share it with you so and i hope you really find this video helpful and if you're accessing it on your phone again it's very easy like it's 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 phone friendly um you can easily download it as well access it on your phone um should you need to right so yes um and with that we've come to the end of this video for today i hope you found it helpful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment um and by any chance anyone watching this video you have a great resource that you feel like i can share with others out there please 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 send my way um absolutely give you credit because i love to give credit i don't like sharing things without giving credit but for this person like they just stood up with their name on there or maybe i did not read well enough or any anybody reading out there like if you think that if you saw by any chance you're like oh i saw this person's name right here like let me know let me know please 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 but yes it is a really great resource leave your feedback if you can not if you can make sure to leave your feedback not if you can but yeah enjoy take care bye people